Aloha everybody, my name is Emily Peavy and I am an astronomy educator here at Imi Loa Astronomy Center. Imi Loa is a Hawaiian cultural and science center based here on Hawaii Island. We focus on the education of Hawaiian cultural concept and active science that is occurring on our island. Now today, I want to tell you about a really exciting thing that happened two years ago. Two years ago, two of our observatories on Mauna Kea worked with other observatories around the world in a project called the Event Horizon Telescope. All together, all of these observatories were able to capture the first ever image of a black hole, Povehi. But what exactly is a black hole? And why is Povehi so special? Well, a black hole is an object whose gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from the event horizon of the black hole. The event horizon is kind of like the surface of the black hole. Let's explore the different types of black holes with a craft. All about black holes. You can find this craft on our website at imilohawaii.org. Now, when you assemble the craft, it's going to look something a little bit like this. Here we can see the four main types of black holes. Now, of the four main types of black holes that you learn about with the craft, which one do you think is the most common type of black hole in the universe? A, supermassive black holes. B, stellar mass black holes. C, intermediate mass black holes. Or D, miniature black holes. Well, if you answered B, you get a space point. The most common type of black holes in the universe are stellar mass black holes. Stellar mass black holes form when an enormous star dies in a massive supernova explosion. 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 In that explosion, the core of the star is put underneath such intense pressure that a black hole gets formed at the very center of the supernova explosion. Stellar mass black holes have the gravitational pull of a, about a dozen suns. Now we think that most black holes in the universe will start off as stellar mass black holes and they can gain mass, they can become bigger by consuming material, which leads us to the second most common type of black hole in the universe, which is supermassive black holes. 
supermassive black holes have the gravitational pull of 1 million to 40 billion suns. That is huge! Now, where do you think we find supermassive black holes in the universe? A, at the edge of the entire universe. B, in very, very, very far away solar systems. C, in the centers of galaxies. Or D, in my school lunch's mystery meat. So thankfully, they're not found inside my school's mystery meat. Supermassive black holes are typically found in the centers of galaxies. Most galaxies have these monster black holes in the center, including our own Milky Way. So if you answered C, you get a space point. Here are the main two types of black holes that we're able to observe in the universe. Stellar massive black holes and supermassive black holes. But we think if all black holes in the universe start off as stellar massive black holes, and will consume material to grow up into a big supermassive black hole, and there's a mystery. Where are all the medium black holes? So that is a big mystery. In astronomy right now, the search for their intermediate mass black holes. Those would be the black holes that are between the stellar mass black holes and the supermassive black holes. They should be out there somewhere in the universe, but really these two types of black holes are the main ones that we are finding. Now, some astronomers, including those in here in Hawaii, have found some candidates for intermediate mass black holes, but definitely not enough to explain why we have so many supermassive black holes. So where do you think we might be able to find some of these mysterious black holes? I'm thinking maybe in a dwarf galaxy or a globular cluster. But write us a comment of where you think we're going to find some of these black holes. Physicists who study the Big Bang use a huge science experiment called the Large Hedron Collider. If the Large Hedron Collider was a lot more powerful, it could potentially create some of these miniature black holes, and then physicists could study them better and understand the Big Bang. But what type of black hole is our favorite black hole? Povehi. Do you think Povehi is A, a supermassive black hole, B, a stellar mass black hole, C, an intermediate mass black hole, or D, a miniature black hole? Povehi is a supermassive black hole. So if you answered A, then you get a space point. Povehi is a supermassive black hole inside the center of a galaxy called M87. And M87 is an enormous galaxy sitting in the center of a cluster called the Virgo cluster. And that galactic cluster is actually pulling the Milky Way closer to it. Now, Povehi is actually one of the largest black holes that we've observed in the universe. And that is why our astronomers at the Event Horizon Telescope took a look at it in order to try to take a picture. But now that we have a picture of Povehi, we can start thinking about what black holes we might want a picture of as well. Now, I really hope that the next picture that we're going to take is going to be a picture of the black hole in the center of the Milky Way.